Before You Buy, the series in which I help you guys decide whether new skins in Battlefront 2 are worth their costs or not is finally back. Last time I did one of these videos was for the solo season back in June, but with today's huge Geonosis update I thought I'd finally bring the series back. In this episode, we're going to be covering the brand new legendary Griever skin named Shattered Armor and discussing all about the price, details and more to help you guys before you buy the skin. So let's get into it. In the background is some pretty sweet gameplay of me using Grievous with the new skin on Geonosis, which by the way is an incredible map. First off, let's talk about the detail of this skin. Grievous's Shattered Armor skin is legendary, however it is the first legendary skin to not have any new voice lines or voice effects. Instead, this skin has some insane visual effects in the form of embers flying out of his battered armor. These effects look seriously cool and are visible all the time whether you're in the game, in the menu or you're in a loading screen such as for heroes vs villains. When I heard the skin would be legendary, I did assume it would have some custom voice lines too, especially considering how destroyed Grievous is, you'd think he'd have some distorted voice lines, but sadly this isn't the case. But does this take away from the skin? In my opinion, no. There are many other details in the skin which help it be the legendary rarity. The skin is brand new canon Star Wars material, meaning it has never been seen before this. That alone, in my opinion, is a factor to buy the skin. The fact that we've never seen this before in Star Wars makes it so much cooler to me. However, that is not it. The skin has a lot of changes to the original skin for Grievous. First off, half of Grievous' head is actually missing. Not only is one of his ear type things missing, I have no idea what they actually are, but part of what I assume to be his brain is showing. It may not be his brain, but whatever it is, it isn't supposed to be exposed. Another thing that I find absolutely awesome about this skin is the cape. So many people wanted a cape skin for Grievous, so DICE decided to tease us and they add a ripped and burnt cape around Grievous's neck, which can actually be seen flying around behind you in-game as it's partially around his back too. And speaking of his back, it appears Grievous's organs are showing here as one of his back plates have been completely destroyed. I don't know how this hasn't killed him, because in the movie when Obi-Wan shot his organs he died, but we'll just ignore that. Another cool detail is that Grievous's right leg is completely bent and battered. Other than this, the entirety of the skin has scalds and damage all over it with the embers coming from all different parts of the skin, making it seriously cool to look at. It's basically a battle damage skin on steroids and I doubt we'll be seeing many grievances with the battle damage skin anymore. Now that all of the detail of the skin is out of the way, is the skin worth the price? The main question. The skin is, like I already mentioned, legendary rarity, meaning it's either 80,000 credits or 2,000 crystals. This costs around 18 pounds or 20 US dollars. Do I think the skin is worth the price personally? Yes, simply because it's so detailed and it's so cool that it is new to canon material. However, I obviously can't go tell you guys to buy crystals as it is quite expensive and it is your opinion whether you like the skin or not. As I always say, I'm just going to justify if I think these skins are worth it and for this one I truly do think so. If the skin didn't have the cool VFX and no new voice lines either, I'd say it's not worth it, but being such a unique skin as it's the first of its kind having these custom VFX and the fact that it's new to Star Wars makes it really worth it. So overall, I'd say the skin is definitely worth it in terms of credits if you can afford it. Otherwise, it's a pricey skin, but still really cool. And if you want it, definitely get the crystals. The skin is super detailed with new VFX, which make it stand out from any other skin. And overall, it's a great skin, and I'm glad to have bought it myself with credits. If this video helped you guys out deciding whether to buy the skin or not, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more coverage on future skins, including Obi-Wan's robe skin and soon his general skin. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I see you this Without that transport, our droid factory is lost. We can try harder. <laughs>